and Gary Glenn Ross when I was in college, the first production on Broadway in the 80s, and I was blown away. It was my first exposure to Mamet. I love his language. I love how muscular it is, how fragmented it is. It explores the way that people communicate and don't. You, you don't ax your sales force. No. You, 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 no, you, you build it. That, that's so, what I'm... You, so what that creates is this, this amazing dynamic of, of overlapping of self-interruptions, of of finishing, you know, half a thought where where it's actually really exciting. We try to figure out what that thought would be. This play was written in the 1980s in the middle of a real estate crash when real estate prices were rock bottom and nobody had any money to buy it anyway. Here we are in the middle of a real estate crash and we're in the middle of a national recession, worldwide recession. Um, and so a play about a group of real estate salesmen um, who are having a really tough time of it seems as though it was written about today. I did it! I did it like in the old days, like I was taught, like, like, like I used to do. I did it! Right now, this, this play is absolutely vital, I think, for people to see. It's about guys who are basically pulling, pulling a con, and yet, despite their various skills at convincing people to buy something that they don't want, that they don't need, and that they aren't going to finally be happy with, despite those skills, they are human beings. Well, I'm gonna tell you something, fella. It wasn't long I could pick up the phone, call Murray, and I'd have your job. So one of the things you do in rehearsal is build trust and build community and build an ensemble. And that's particularly important uh, on Glen Gary, Glen Ross, because the language is fiendishly difficult. Well, Mammoth, I mean, I feel uh, privileged to be living at the same time as this man. And he's just, uh, you know, a fabulous writer. Obviously, he's known for his, his sort of particular style. He writes characters that are so rooted in their intention, in their objective. They can't express it in one fluid thought. But I think structurally this play is almost perfect. It's like there's no wasted gestures. But there's also a, there's a melody to the language. There's a musicality to it. I think it's really human and dark and funny and a real exploration of the American dream.